random junk from the archives. Uh, we've had the thoughts of David from up in the commentary box and Eddie down here in the paddock. Give us your thoughts from inside the cockpit. How was the cars today with these new tyres that we've all been talking about for the last few months? It feels like a very different tyre to what really? we had in testing. Um, for, for me, the, the whole weekend, the tyres felt quite durable um, and it gives you very good grip. Um, we haven't really seen any graining problems. So I don't know if this is type of circuit um, or what, but the, the tyre seems like it's working really well. Can you maybe explain a little bit? We saw people going out quite quietly from the, the pits actually you know I'm used to seeing you all hammering it out of the pits to try and keep heat in the tires is that one of the things that's different with the Pirelli that you don't have to worry about getting temperature in uh, there might be different reasons for different teams I don't know but um well, that's very nice Ron Dennis bringing in some humble pie for Eddie Jordan <laughs> if you're not going to have it I will they're lovely that's the Thank first time I've ever received anything for free from Ron Dennis and I tell you if this goes down in history and <laughs> folklore <laughs> Well, it's good the food's good in sorry, there. Yes. Um, sorry to interrupt you there, discussing, talking about the tyres. I'm completely lost now. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> well, let's get it back on track. Uh, a talk about qualifying. Lewis did very well, split yeah, the Red did, Bulls. he did very well. With no, with no Kurs at his disposal. Well, you had Kurs at the very end there really? on, on your whole up? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. But um, all the way through qualifying, the car felt great, actually. Uh, and in end of Q2, the performance was very good. Um, I almost had a very good lap, but they called mm. me in because we didn't need to. Um, and then in Q3, I had a... Um, a little fight with Rosberg on the outlap, which became a little bit messy, and uh, I had no tyre temperature when I started my lap, got to turn one and, and had big understeer. But whatever, you know, I think we've got to be very happy with ourselves this weekend. From where we came in winter testing, you know, big thank you to, to all the guys back at the factory. I mean, they've done a tremendous job, not just to bring reliability, but to bring some great performance. Yeah. Jensen, we'll come back to the thing about Kurs, because we also heard at the race interview uh, after the um, celebration up there, uh, Vettel said he di also didn't have care, so both cars on the front row, I find that absolutely amazing. And you? Uh, yes. Sounds a bit daunting, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Especially uh, Sebastian, what did he do? A 23.5 or something. Yeah. Eight tenths quicker than anyone, so yeah, it's... Uh, that, that, let's just hope it doesn't work at the start, and then I'll be happy. I bet. <laughs> uh, let's talk about tomorrow then, how you attack the race in this situation. The top ten, all on soft tyres. Maybe Michael Schumacher will sit in 11th on some hard tyres and see if he can mix things up. What are you expecting from the Grand Prix? Uh, I'm not sure there are going to be any four stoppers out there. Um, there might possibly be. But uh, it's going to be a really big mix. And I think a lot of people, well, all the teams are just going to be watching each other to see what they do. And I think you can also get caught out like that. I think you do have to think on your feet, but also you have to have a plan. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of a mix. And uh, I really trust these guys. They've done a great job of strategy so far this year. And also the great thing is that the driver can have some input to when they think that it's time to pit with the tyres. OK, thanks for joining us. Go and eat all the chocolate cake you like. Sure. Cheers, guys. All right, thanks very much, Jensen.